Hi there. In this video, we're going to spend some time learning how to use an application called Every Circuit. Now, we're going to use Every Circuit quite often in this topic and other topics in this course to learn about how electric circuits work. The website for Every Circuit is simply everycircuit.com. And by going to this website, you will be able to download a version of the app for your mobile phone, whether it is an Apple or an Android phone. You can also play with every circuit in the Chrome browser. Now, if you don't have the Chrome browser, you can download a copy for your desktop or laptop for free. Now, you can pay for a premium version of the Every Circuit app, but you needn't. Once your trial period has expired, all that changes is that you will no longer be able to create your own circuits. You will still be able to interact with circuits created by other people. Now, you'll be guided through various interactions with other circuits through a series of activity sheets that we've prepared for you. This is activity number one, where we get to play with every circuit. So, let's get going and see how to use the Every Circuit app firstly on a mobile device. So once you've downloaded the application to your device, you simply need to touch on the application icon and it will by default open the application up in your personal workspace. Now this is the workspace where you can collect a number of circuits that you yourself have created. But in order to interact with the circuits in the examples, we need to go to the community space. So click on the community icon down in the bottom tray, and then we're going to need to search for a particular circuit each time. Now this time, we need to search for the circuit called NOC underscore Ohm's Law. I was going to bring you up all the results for that search, and this is the circuit here at the bottom that we need to use. So just touch on that circuit icon, and it will open up the circuit for you. Now that we have the circuit open, let's go back to the activity sheet to see what we need to do. Okay, so we've opened the community space and we've searched for the circuit called NOC Ohm's Law, which we have opened already. Now, the activity sheet says that we can see that the voltage is 9 volts and the amperage is 20 milliamps. Let's see how we can see that. Well, if we just zoom in on the battery or the power supply, we can see very clearly that it's stated there as 9 volts. And in green, we can see that the amperage, the current flowing through that battery, as well as through the other device in the circuit, this uh, resistor, is 20 milliamps. Now, we can also see that it shows us the current flowing, and this is obviously the direction of conventional current, which is flowing from positive to negative. Okay, so the first question in our worksheet says that the circuit, does the circuit, asks us rather, does the circuit agree with Ohm's law? Do the calculation. Well, we can see that we've got a voltage of 9 volts, an amperage of 20 milliamps, that's our current, and a resistance, a total resistance here, this resistor over there, 450 ohms. So let's do some calculations and see if this circuit is in fact accurate. Okay. We know that Ohm's law is the relationship between voltage, it gives us the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance, and it basically says that the resistance in a circuit is equal to the voltage in that circuit divided by the current through that circuit. We can rearrange that uh, expression mathematically as voltage is equal to current times resistance. Remember this triangle, very handy triangle, V, I, R. V is at the top, and if we want to use V, well then we know that we need to multiply I and R together. If we would like to find I, for example, the current, then we know we need to divide voltage by resistance. But in our case, we have a current of 0.2 amps. Remember, we need to change it into amps. This only works if all of the units are standard units. Milliamps, we need to change that 20 milliamps into 2 amps. 
the uh, resistance is in ohms already, so this equation becomes 0 0.2 amps times 450 ohms, and if you do that on a calculator, you get the answer of 9 volts. So yes, this circuit does agree with Ohm's law. Now, it says, what current would flow through the circuit if the voltage was 4 volts? And asks us to do the calculation. So let's have a look. If the voltage was 4 volts, what would the current be? So now we need to calculate current. And so we need to rearrange this mathematical expression to get current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. The resistance hasn't changed. That's still 450 ohms. So therefore, the current is equal to 4 volts divided by 450 ohms. Everything is in standard units. And if you do that on a calculator, you will get the answer of 0 0.008889. I've just rounded that off. Uh, that is in amps. We can change that into milliamps. And that will be 8.889 milliamps. So now that we've done that calculation, what's next in the worksheet? Now, it says click on or touch the battery, then click on or touch the little spanner icon that appears under the circuit to change the voltage to 4 volts. So let's see how to do that. So we're going to touch on the battery. You can see that it gets highlighted. And there's a little spanner icon at the bottom. We're going to touch the spanner icon. We can see at the moment that the battery is set to a voltage of 9 volts. Now, by just touching on and dragging that yellow triangle, we can either increase or decrease the voltage of this cell. Now, we want to decrease it all the way down to 4 volts. Right, so there it is at 4 volts. And wait for a little while for the calculations to do, and we can see very clearly that um, the amperage is now 8.89 milliamps, which is exactly what we calculated. The amperage current through the resistor, 8.89 milliamps, exactly as we calculated. So it does agree with our calculation. Question 4 says, with a voltage of 5 volts, calculate the resistance you need to create a current of 65 milliamps. Now in this case, we need to solve for resistance. We need to calculate a resistance. So voltage of 5 volts, uh, what resistance do we need to create a current of 65 milliamps? So now we want to find resistance. So the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. We know that the voltage will be 5 volts and we know that the current will be 65 milliamps, so convert that into amps, 0 0.065 amps. You do that simple calculation on a calculator, and you will get a <coughs> resistance value of 76.923 ohms. And that's obviously also been rounded off, so 76.923. Now it asks us to change the voltage in the circuit to 5 volts and the resistance of the resistor to our calculated value. Remember the calculated value, 76.923 ohms. So let's go ahead into our circuit and change those. Now, we've already got the battery selected, so now we can simply change that voltage up to 5 volts, and now we're going to touch on the resistor. And we can change the resistance. What was the resistance value again? 76.9. 76.9. So we can drag this around the circle until we get to about 76.9. Oh, there we go. 77. We want 76.9. So I'm just going to touch on the minus sign, which is going to decrement it down by 0.1 of an ohm. And we can see that the amperage now, the current flowing through the circuit, is 65 milliamps, exactly as we calculated.